Obviously, you're a little, you know, uh, aggravated by the, the line of questioning regarding Canelo. I don't want to touch this, you know, dirty so bad, you know, because I don't want to touch his name. I'm working on feeling the art of humbleness. Can you be me? That's even why I'm crying, because I'm not that person. And I miss him. But sometimes I feel like a bitch. I don't want that person to come out, because when he comes out, hell is coming with him. And it's not funny at all. It must sound cool, like I'm a tough guy, it's just that I hate that I'm scared. It would be awesome to, you know, be being a great war, maybe, maybe we were a Mexican. Oh! <laughs> To put the joke. No, no, hey, thank you. Thank you for playing, man. I appreciate it. Good timing. Can't put predictions, man, but I definitely don't want to leave it to the judges. Yep, yep, yep. Estamos en vivo, ladies and gentlemen. I feel great. I feel fine. I still remember what happened Saturday night. We're going to break it down like it is with the crew of En Vivo Podcast Money Marrero. Show no gringo Hicksa. Ah, Hopper. Oh, yeah. breaking it down like it is. Like it should be with another episode. Como debe de 80, ser. 85. Yes, 85. Wow. I checked this God. time. I know, right? We've done like episode 83, 35 times. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we come out here, it's like same episode, episode. 83. I don't remember. Why not? I mean, close to 100. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. That's the rumor. I know. What, what other rumors we got yeah, there? Man, there's an unbelievable rumor. Rumor! There's a rumor that, uh, Yo. that we have somebody on the line. There, man. man. It's a nasty rumor. Look, let me, let me tell you something. I'm so freaking excited I can't about this. Oh, I'm excited. I, That's the only reason I, I'm here. Well, I, That's true, guys. Yeah, yeah but it's can you true. imagine? I mean, I got, I, got, I, got, I got the whole meal, and now I'm getting the, the, the dessert and the cherry on top. This is fantastic. I'm, man. What a word, better way to recap, ladies and gentlemen, what happened Saturday night. Top ranks. Kissimi, Florida. Sean, do, do the honor. Who do we have in studio today? We have the man who brought us the fight of the night, oh. Mr. Jermaine Ortiz. Hey, saludo. Thank you, sir. What's going on, Jermaine? What's up, brother? What's going on? No, um, everything is good. Thank you guys for having me. Oh, thank you, sir, for thank that performance. Thank you for joining us and for that performance. What a fight. God, man. My goodness. Yeah. I think the word that we're going to use is epic. We don't throw that word around a lot because, you know, it doesn't always need to be applied. But for that fight, it definitely does. So what a performance, sir. And, um, you know, how do you feel after a, a performance like that? And how, how are you feeling right now? Um, you know, sorry. Obviously, I wanted to get the, the win. Um. Got a draw, but you know, I I entertain the fans. I definitely that's something I you know I aim for all the time is to be an entertaining fighter, a fighter that the people want to come out and continuously watch over and over again. And I think I did that Saturday. And, and, and I all confirm Man. that as well. Uh, you <laughs> sure you sure did that? Did you? Wow! In, in a stadium, four thousand in attendance, and uh, I was one of them. He was and, there. Um, yes, yes. He's literally wearing the same thing. I, I would say exactly. I he hasn't changed. Say, Is it going to change? <laughs> He's wearing the same thing Why every change? day. Come Don't hate, brother. It was a great night of Puerto Rican boxing. Man, and, um, you know, what a, what a way to showcase going on into, you know, the main cards and amazing performance. Um, not the way you want it to. But, you know, honestly, uh, there's a lot of people out there who are, you know, clearly seen that, you know, he had more of the fans and you can hear about that. So he had all the fans. I mean, most of the fans. Well, most but, of the fans. Jermaine had some fans. There too, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was Jermaine more of just not being a fan. It was more about what happened that night and two, you know, true, um, you know, huge prospects going into the contention, you know, going at it. You know, I know you're, you know, part Dominican, part Puerto Rican. We're proud of where we come from. And it was a battle to the ages to see Two guys going at it, you know, for one simple purpose, and is actually to continue to improve what they're doing in a career. Did you feel at one point that you know you were getting that support from the fans, and it was that 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 motor that gave you that push to go ahead and say, "Listen, I got a couple hits down the road, but I still finished strong in pretty much most of the rounds." Mm. Um, I, I know I had a lot of family there and friends that came down, so I know I had a little support there. Uh, obviously. Uh, I think the the fans were more favorite for him, but I think the way I fought, I was able to turn around those fans for myself 
And at least that's what I got Definitely. feedback from the fans and the family that was there in attendance that the people who was going for him ended up, you know, turning around and cheering on for me. So I definitely turned a lot of fans that were for him for me that night. Man, I, th- I think it's oh, a very yeah. accurate statement. It uh, was. Myself it included. Was. Me myself too. Myself included. <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> same here. And uh, I wa- uh, this is Hopper, by the way, Jermaine. Thank you for joining us. A uh, question for you. It uh, it it seemed like like a Dorno because you were bleeding a lot from your nose. Did he yeah. did he fracture it or or what was the it yeah was my, no, my nose is fractured wow it was fractured. and you continued yeah. like it was nothing man I would have been out of there like yeah. <laughs> I, I actually quit for you Jermaine <laughs> all right <laughs> yeah man oh, and, he, and he continued and and uh, and in my opinion if it wasn't for the for the knockdowns you win the fight convincingly oh convincingly yeah that was completely. the only rounds that I yeah, was that's the only rounds that he won the judge could. <laughs> could not go into your favor because right. you were definitely putting on a masterpiece performance. And I have to say this, um, you know, I have the honor of saying this while you're on the line with this. Your uppercut is literally like a, a work of art, thing of beauty. Like when you, you call yourself the technician, which I think is a great, mm-hmm. accurate Huge. nickname or Huge. moniker for yourself. But you're, um, you clearly work on your fundamentals with your team, uh, you know, Carlos Garcia and uh, Rocky, because mm-hmm. you guys have got your, your fundamentals on point. I mean, you uh, you were displaying that thing like uh, unbelievably, sir. So well done. Uh, it, it, I appreciate the words, but you know, I, I would say that Saturday night I wasn't the technician that I, I I really am. You know, I didn't get to demonstrate the real technician to the world that night. I felt like I was mm-hmm. definitely more of a fighter. Uh, I didn't really show my real boxing skills, and I kind of just fought with my cojones that night. All right, all right. Oh, yeah. That's what it was. You know, if I was boxing, I was <laughs> oh, a technician. Yeah, yeah. It would have been a, a, a Big different story. So, so it was but, you know because you definitely you must struggle to put yeah. your pants on. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, you, you definitely were on point in terms of how many of those fans really turned around and say, "Wow, I wasn't even expecting this." Um, us at the media, we knew of uh, the caliber of opponent you had, and you know if people that are you know fans of Adora and didn't really realize you know who Jermaine Ortiz sure did um, Saturday night, um, but at the same time you were able to. As you said, turn those fans around to you and being able to lift yourself up a little bit more in terms of like some of the action that did happen Saturday night. Now, was there anything different right now? You say you weren't a technician. What are some of those things that you think about right now? You said, I would have been different on this thing. Yeah, great point. Um, what I would have, you know, if I was winning the fight clearly um, in a lot of the rounds and instead of just continue to press the fight, press the fight, press the fight, just box a little bit more, you know? Uh, I think the the fifth and the sixth round, I did a good job boxing uh, in and out, you know? Uh, you know, going fighting backwards a little bit because I could do that very well. Right. Uh, right. I was just going forward most of the time, and that's where I got caught, going forward. Yeah. Uh, uh. I could have just been in and out, and after, you know, I was winning the fight convincingly while ending my shots, stay on the outside and have him chase me. And, and, and catch him come, him coming in like I did in the sixth round and, and do more of that. But, right. you know, can't dwell on the past. It is what it is. Great fight. Uh, and, yeah. Well, you started very good um, throwing very great well. aggressive combinations in the first round. You landed a uh, pretty good left uppercut. I mean, I think you started on a good note. Then you got caught up in the second round with that left hook. Is that where the moment on the fight kind of changed? Because you also touched base on, you know, this was like a brawl. This was like a Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican. I was thinking, man, the last time mm-hmm. I witnessed something like this, I, I would say Camacho when he fought Chapo Rosario, Trinidad when he fought, you know, and a lot of people don't think that, hey, listen, they're probably from the same country or they represent or they feel great about, you know, their roots, right? And sometimes you don't want to match them against each other. Was that part of that mentality and where the fans are so into it because we were we were like wow i mean those of you i was looking around like what is going on here i never knew i mean i knew adorno but wow was that the turning point where you said listen (laughs) let me just get away from my technician uh technicality and go into brawl and give what the fans wanted to see uh i'll say because the last time i fought was with no fans this time you know just having the puerto rican people there and having like this is the most time i feel like i've had a lot of people for me like flying out like you know i'm I'm gonna win this fight and i'm gonna win it convincingly and and that's kind of the mentality i had was i wanted every second from the bell rang to the bell close of each round that i was putting my hands on him and i think that's that's where it came from you know i just wanted to me being on a top rank car fighting a top rank oh, fighter, yes. I wanted to make sure that, you know, it wasn't left up to the judges where 
You mm-hmm. couldn't say that. That was a close round, you know? It wasn't enough action in that round. They didn't do enough. So I wanted to make sure I was doing enough and landing enough that it was, you know, a no-brainer. And and you obviously feel like what, you did win the, the, the fight. Correct? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel... You know, I, I would agree. 76, 76, 74, you know? That's correct. I feel like I won every round. Yeah, that's fair. Second and the seven. You that's know, 10 I, I, I agree with that, you know? But like I said, close enough where 75, 75, they get... I seen the scorecards. They gave them the sixth round. Yeah. The scorecards. I got the well, screenshot of the scorecards in the sixth round. There was no way. There was no way. <laughs> no, you mentioned that, and you touched on that because yeah, and that's and that's no what that's what happens going into a fight uh, with the promoter's fighter, the top ranked guy. You know, you're already kind of down on the card, so um, it's unfortunate. But we understand that's the way boxing exactly. is, and we we know we know all well, about it. That was man. one but of the slow rounds. I bet for you. Both I bet you. But. You probably impressed Bob Arum more than than Adorno did because Bob Arum was right there watching and. Uh, if I put money on it, I, I'd say, but have you heard from anybody from Top Rank? You should be about your performance. Well, they, came, they, they, came, they came after the friend that was like, hey, we're going to have you back. Yeah, Ooh, that's, that's right. Breaking back. news. Wow. All Breaking right, man. Hey, news. Well so deserved. I'm looking forward to, to, you know, putting another show. Uh, so, so we'll obviously, be watching. Yeah. Obviously, you feel you did win the, the, the fight. Um, I'm sure you felt very disappointed afterwards. Um, if, 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 if you had the power to make anything happen, would you want that rematch? Or would you be looking yeah, into like definitely? So so oh. a rematch. I, I like I'll be I'll be I'll, I'll love a rematch. I don't. I'm here to fight whoever you know, uh, entertain the fans. And, but most importantly, I'm working to get that world title. So whoever they can put in front of me that's gonna get me closer to fight for that world title. That's what I'm here for. You know that's why I took yeah, the fight. Definitely. You know, and and you've right. been you've been matched pretty tough in your career. I mean, you fought what four? That was your uh, fourth undefeated fighter. I mean, I know there was two at 2-0, two and, so, yeah. and then Ricardo Cardoso yeah. is 10-0. Mm-hmm. You used to yeah. being match tough. I mean, you prefer that? Or? Uh, to me, like I said, they gave me options, and I didn't have to take the fight. As you know, you know they, get, they give fighters options, and if the fighters agree if they're going to take the fight or not. And I took the most toughest that I thought, in yeah. my opinion, yeah. was going to be the toughest fight, you know, a power hitter and stuff like that. Because to me, the tougher opponent I fight, the better I'm going to look. Yes, sir. Right. Right. You yeah, know, absolutely. in that sense, you know. So, if I fight a guy who looks like a bum, then I'm gonna look like a bum. <laughs> so to me, and you I'd know, rather fight the best so I look, you know, like the best. Right. Either I knock him out quick yeah, or definitely. I look like a bum. And did it did it feel like you were in enemy territory there? Or did you feel like the crowd was kinda of rooting for him or was it more evenly split? Uh I didn't I didn't put I didn't put mine to that because when I'm in there, you know, I am just in my zone. Yes. Sir. I'm in my zone. I'm in yeah. I'm in my space. I'm in I don't let that get to me, you know. I I don't let that get to me. I don't let my opponent get to me. I'm I'm too, I'm too in my too, too in my head, too in myself, and tuned with how I gotta feel and how I gotta behave to win this fight. Yeah, he I've, was he was very welcomed. Um, you know, coming out of the ring and you know people getting. I'm sure the fans did. Yeah, they did. Oh, yeah. The they did. I mean, it was it was an epic. I mean, night. I'm I'm a fan for sure. Top <laughs> ranks just made it all um happen. Now yeah. you've had the opportunity to fight. Top ranks, you see what they're capable of, and you did, uh, you know, you did perform right well. How do you compare this to your last fight, which, by the way, was a great opponent? Um, that was for the vacant uh, uh, WBC uh, United States silver like title against yeah. Suleiman Segawa and on Thriller. I mean, and that's in the pa- that's a pay per view Tyson and uh, nice Roy Jones. Look at you. What Jermaine? was that experience? Doing it big everywhere. Yeah, well, I, 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 opened, I opened up the pay per view for that one. Nice. Yep. No pressure, thing. right, Jermaine? No pressure at all. <laughs> Damn, I see you. But, but you know what it is? The thing is, I go in with the mindset is that I've been, you know, years ago before the time comes, you know, I already see myself under the big lights fighting for a world title, being a main event. So when I'm open up, it's just, I, this is stuff that I expect, you know? So when you're expecting, it's like a, a, when you're fighting, if any of you guys sparred or anything like that, when you expect right. the punch to come, it doesn't hurt. It's the punches that you don't see coming is the ones that hurt you. So when I already expect all this to happen, it's normal. You know, I, I'm already adjusted to it. Right, a lot of right. times people say, oh, it's your, it's your first time, big stage, you know, people get nervous, people act different. Like with me, it's not like that because, you know, the mind is too strong. The already, you know. No, that's, 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 that's a great strong. mentality. And that's, that's an awesome mindset to definitely have. You know, speaking of having that tough, strong mindset, you're in a, a division that has a lot of big personalities, uh, a lot of young guys too. So, um, how do you feel about the state of the division currently right now? And, uh, you know, where do you see yourself as far as placed within it? You know, uh, you know, you said you're ready for those big challenges. Uh, you know, you're not afraid of that or don't a rematch. You definitely want that and that we want that as well. 
Uh, what, what would we'll you? Be there. I would love it. Oh my god! I would love can, make, it. can we do that right now? <laughs> <laughs> Please. That nose has to heal first. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let the nose heal yeah. first, and then, uh, when but then, then right, 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 right. We'll petition but, for it. But, uh, but Jermaine, where where do you see yourself as far as within the division, uh, matched up against the you know the bigger names? Um, you know that they're getting a lot of notoriety, but you know, do you see yourself with that same level of uh, ability? With popularity no you know and that's where you know as i fight more on televised and more people see me they see i get more fans every single time right. you know I, I could fight but skill wise yes skill wise definitely absolutely uh and that's what i'm working towards that's why i'm not afraid to fight the big names people with o's as you can see since i started my career this is what i'm aiming for and yeah. i'm i don't and i'm whoever's in front of me i'm gonna i'm gonna beat them to get there because i'm, I'm not here to you know, win the popularity contest. I'm here to win the world championship, you know? So, you know, I, I love hearing that. W- one thing I wanted to definitely say as well is uh, I was getting a little frustrated, even though the fight was amazing, because obviously, yeah, uh, our, Joseph Adorno is the uh, quote unquote A side because he's a top ranked fighter, but you performed admirably. But they were obviously focused on what he wasn't doing, not as much as I know you were hard on your performance, even though we were impressed. They were more about what he was doing compared to what you were of forcing him to do with your ability. I mean, I, I think that you weren't getting enough yeah. credit about what you did. I mean, they were focused on like his focus and his commitment. And I was like, look, I mean, I don't. I think he could be at his A plus game. And as you pointed out, you weren't even at your A plus game, and you still put on a hell of performance um, for yeah. you know what you were able to do. And and I I was I was getting frustrated for you because I was thinking like you know they're they're totally missing the boat here. I get it. That's their guy. They're you know promoting that fighter, but. No, it's it's more about what Jermaine's doing, not what Joseph isn't. Yeah. You know? I was listening to an interview after um that Joseph and his father did, and you know, they said that they was perfectly fine, that the conditioning was great. Uh uh they had no complaints. They didn't say anything that they would have changed. Uh so on their side, they felt great. They was good that I was just too much, you know. I yeah, was you, you were the I, faster. I, I, I feel like I was just too much. Yeah, you were the fastest. No, they said that my way had to do with it. They said I was a little big, a little too big. But uh, well, yeah, you know, I think you were a little too good. I think that's what they wanted to say. <laughs> exactly. yeah. So, are they trying? Are they trying to pin on this that the fact that you weren't able to make weight is something they're trying to? You know, that, that, oh, that's so, probably you know, what they they're trying say, to do. They say oh. the two ounces, the two ounces, the two, <laughs> two ounces. ounces. That's, <laughs> that's going to make that's a what difference. Did it. Yeah, exactly, that's what did it, Jermaine. Exactly. A couple of ounces of spit in the mouth. No, but. That's what it was. Man. So, so do there. you feel comfortable at the at, at one thirty five? This this is where you want to continue. I'm I sure you, you you talked about. You I do. You know, like you said, this this is the big names right here in the division. And it, for me, it's about the the legacy, the and the story. At the end of the day, when you're talking about great fighters, you talk about a story, right? You know, yeah. and that's the story that I want for after I'm done with boxing is who I fight, the great fights I put on, who I'm not afraid to fight, and and with this story is about coming on top on the hottest division at the time. And Absolutely. you're talking about what was the last time this lightweight division was this on fire, fire for man. this long, fire. you know? Yep. So, Big. and me coming out on top, I think that's what makes that legacy, that story so much sweeter oh, yeah. to imprint my name in history, you know, not fighting a division that, you know, there's a couple, but all the divisions are fire, you know, the 35s, the 40s, the 47, all the, there's a lot of great fighters, but, you know, I feel like that lightweight, yeah. you know, the 168, but you know, I feel like the the lightweight division still has a lot of question marks. Yeah, the more personality. A lot of question marks of who's the just, king. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of and personalities. What do you, well, yeah, because they call we, themselves we they call themselves the four kings. We don't we we don't disrespect the no. old four kings like that. No. We call them the the Twitter kings because they spend more time on on, on Twitter yeah. than actually. But fighting, we're goofing but around. We'll we're call just goofing them, around. We'll call you know, them but, the divas. Yeah, but what do you what do you what are your <laughs> thoughts on Telfimo, Tank, Ryan, Devin? I mean, the state of the lightweight division. Great fighters. Great fighters. Great fighters. Uh, Great fighters, and I'm looking forward to fight all of them. Nice. Yeah. Put on great fights, great fighters. Yeah, because you've been and, you. Uh, yeah, you've been matched tough ever since your amateurs. I mean, your last fight uh, in amateurs was what against uh, Supernova, man, and you defeated him. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and yeah, you, I beat him. I fought Telfimo too in the, in the Golden Gloves, the National Golden Gloves. The really, finals. man. I fought Jerron Ennis, you know, I fought... You fought know, Boots? Ever since the young... I didn't yeah, know that one. You fought Jose Lopez. You were just talking right? about that man, if earlier. I, <laughs> you need to have that t-shirt made, sir. Uh, I fought Boots. I fought, I fought, I fought, Gary, boots. I fought Gary Russell. Wow. Man, I fought all these guys, you know what I'm saying? So, 
That's Even in the amateurs, me and Edgar, we was kicking it. We was talking it up because we fought as JOs, you know, 10, 11 years old. I think we was 106 pounds, small boys. <laughs> I, I oh, fought wow. them all. That's awesome, man. man. So that's why they match you tough things. Know. Yeah. Been in there with yeah. everybody. Yeah. Yeah. They know you can definitely so. take it. And uh, we know that you're definitely a, a family man. Like, uh, I, I love the story that I heard yeah, about. Definitely. Talk you, to us uh, more about you. you. Yeah, you take your, uh, your, your daughter with you and she goes to the gym with you. So, uh, yeah. you know, to kind of talk about that as far as your family relationship and the importance of your family that is to you and uh, what they mean to you. And is that part of your motivation every day? Uh, my family is a very important to me, you know, because at the end of the day, I don't know I love them. They love me. It's a support system. They take care of me. And I just see, you know, my grandparents and my aunts and my mom and, and stuff like that, how. You know, your parents take care of you, but then when you get older, you end up taking care of them. Right. And it's always like that. You know, you always have family taking care of you. Right now, I'm in Florida, and I got a large family base down here in Orlando. Uh, my father's side of the family is out here in Orlando. My mother's up north. My mom's side of the family is up north in Massachusetts. Okay. So I'm always in communication with both sides. I'm visiting all the time. And that's why I don't really have... Lots of friends, you know. Uh, I'm always a family. That's, that's good. That's a party. smart man. That's a smart man. It took me... 30 years to figure that <laughs> out. I don't want to know. Yeah, you're still struggling. Head of the game, <laughs> yeah. my brother. Keep the yeah. circle small, yeah, brother. Keep it. the circle small. Yeah, that's, but that's I want to, I wanna, you know, we've talked a lot about boxing already. I want to know more about Jermaine Ortiz. Like, if you weren't boxing, what would you be doing? Or what do you do when you're not training? Or, you know, some of the hobbies, some of your likes? Uh, when I'm not training, I'm always training. But, uh, like, on my free time, you know, in the summer, I like fishing. I like going to the gun range. I like riding horses. Nice. Uh, but on a regular, you know, I'm mostly always learning um, under my mentor, or whatever. And I, I do real estate, so I'm always Ooh, you know trying that. to find deals in real estate wow. and uh, stocks and equities and trading and nice. investing. And um, so that's what I mainly do, like on a day to day. Besides my training, is you know I'm in real estate, looking at houses, or you know I'm uh, showing houses and fixing flipping just trying to find the deals and structuring deals right now and in stocks so you know trying to find the next big Notch thing coin. just investing you know whatever it is Dodge <laughs> coin. Any I, crypto? Manage, I manage Any a few accounts yeah i got some crypto got you got some crypto, crypto? yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, man. Sir. i, I crypto, see ya you know, champ <laughs> tell me the scoop <laughs> trade, trading and that and you know maybe you know eventually <laughs> i'll have a, a a company or something where i teach athletes and other and have a firm of you know education on 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 financial, financial yeah. education. No, that's, you're this looking, you're got looking a head, yourself head on your shoulders. to build yourself that's a huge really portfolio impressive. being a businessman besides just thinking about boxing because they say they, they, there's life after sports. Is that your mentality right yeah. now to start building not only the legacy at the sport, but also to do something in life after the sport? Well, yeah, well, I kind of started like before the sport because I wanted something to maintain myself, but I'm in the sport because as you know, when you start boxing, if you're not, you know, getting the crazy deals in the beginning, you know, boxing don't pay much when you start off. Right. So I always mm -hmm. made sure that I had something, an investment strategy that could maintain my boxing lifestyle. Right. You know, yeah. pay the bills and stuff like that. So I can train and focus as I have boxing as my priority. And then I'm obviously now I'm 25. I only got what, six, seven years left in the, in the sport. Right. You know, uh, I don't plan on doing this forever, so got to take advantage of it, put the money right, so uh, you have investments afterwards, and definitely, I always think of multiplying money. You know, money still don't make money. Right, yeah. You got to keep the money moving. you got to keep the money moving. Inflation, mm -hmm. inflation makes your money less, less money, you know? Yeah, definitely, as the years yeah. go Remember, by. There's a lot of inflation, so you got to learn how to move money, have right people around you, know what you're doing, and... Uh, Definitely. So you, yeah, and you, you said you moved back and forth from Florida to Worcester, and I'm hopefully I say it right. Yeah. Worcester, yeah. I lived yes. in downtown. I, I lived in Revia Beach um, <laughs> for quite some time, so I kind of know a little bit about there. Um, but um, you, you actually also as well, you feel proud of the Puerto Rican side and also the Dominican side. Talk to us a little bit about that. Yes. Yeah, so my father's Puerto Rican, uh, born and bred. My mother's Dominican, born and bred. And I visited Puerto Rico. I actually fought a tournament in Puerto Rico as an amateur. Okay. Um, and I go to DR. I was in DR in December. Uh, I go to Puerto Rico, visit my grandmother sometimes. So I'm, I go to both. 
right. we are in Puerto Rico, and I'm, I'm with both sides of the family. I kind of grew up with my mom, so I have more of a Dominican accent, but okay. uh, yeah. So no, you have the roots, you take care of that, you participate, you eat arar, mango, con también uh, mongo, sancocho. Yeah. Siete <laughs> potencia. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 yo no puedo. Míralo, habla español. Yo me decía, habla español. Sí, yo hablo. Y, mu y much muchos boxeadores no pueden hablar español. A ver, míralo. Mira, tu español, español es mejor que, que so, el mío. El mío me... uh, yo, soy, yo soy mexicano uh, y mi español lo sí, tengo tan mucho. Sí, sí. Sí, se <risa> suena, se suena. Oh, chico. Ah, qué interesante. Pero, Jermaine, I want to ask El mangú y plátano no puedo comer no, así. Todavía, pero de vez en cuando, de vez en cuando te sales un poquito de y dices, déjame, déjame, déjame after, treat myself, yeah. right? El mofongo, a mí más me gusta más el mofongo. El mofongo. El mofongo. El mofongo, bro. Wow, wow. Jermaine, wow. ¿cuáles cuál son tus, uh, uno de tus favoritos boxeadores? What's some of your favorite boxers right now? Eh, please say Canelo. Right now, <laughs> please don't. No, no, don't. Right don't. Now, please right now, yeah, please no, don't. Yes, right now, yeah, Canelo. Woo! Is, that's my oh, guy. Uh, yes, sir. Terrence Crawford? I like, yeah, I like this guy. Jermaine, but, I love you, man. I like Terrence Crawford. Yeah. This guy. yeah. You just Terrence made you just Crawford. made a number one fan. <laughs> oh, wow. I'll say, you know, and, guys and you lost the fans. I'll put I'll put Canelo one and Terrence Crawford two. Terrence Crawford two. And Vivo. Who out there three? Huh? Who would be a three? Just I to throw it out there. Who would be a three? <laughs> yeah. uh, I can't go. I can't go. I can't go that far. <laughs> you can't go that far. <laughs> no, man. That's, that's awesome. You just I got can't go the one far. and two. How about, how about, how about, how about legends, old timers? Who's your uh, number one guy that you idolized? You were a kid and you kind so of. Roy Jones. Career. Roy Jones. Roy Jones. Yes, I always sir. used that's to like try pick. to imitate Roy Jones. Um, I like Roberto Duran. Ooh, okay. Um, Panama. Mayweather, you know, I used to watch Mayweather. Right. Uh, Mayweather, Roy Jones. Uh, wow. You know, I didn't go too, too old school. No, yeah. My that's, coach, that's, Carlos, you know. No, no. He used to talk a lot about, about Carlos Ortiz. You okay. know, Carlos Ortiz. Oh, yeah. And uh, Willie Pep. Willie Pep. So I used wow. to watch. Look at that. Wow. Talk about that. History. Yeah. So you you like a, a lot of the the sweet science slick guys boxers. I mean, uh, you did mention Canelo's boxer puncher, but yeah, you like a lot of the guys with the, you know, that can. Yeah, yeah. Defense, I, like, I like I like I like the slid. art of boxing. You know, yeah. I like the, the slick, slick. You know, I like slick pure boxes. You know. Right. Um, yeah. Are are you a are you a football fan? You keep up with you the know, NFL the, draft. The boxer punch like Canelo. <laughs> I know, but I heard it was on like tomato eight or nine. It's on right now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I don't keep up too much. Not nah. really. No, but no football. Yeah. But what are you saying about Canelo? Yeah, I like watching. Yeah. You know, I like sports. But I'm saying, you know, Canelo is one of them guys that is like a boxer. But he, like he's been, he's developed every fight. He develops so much and he becomes more of a boxer and pure head movement and, and really great. That you know, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of Canelo. Wow. No, that's big fan. Yeah. That's, that's great. I mean, you just got to really And I'm a big fan of you. You got a new it's fan now. It's development in fighters. It's great seeing development in fighters, you know? Right, right. And See, I feel like I've been able to witness that type of development from when he fought Mayweather all the way. He's growing. He's always growing. No, yeah. definitely. Yeah, absolutely. I, I know that, you know, you mentioned before, you know, you weren't completely pleased with your performance, but, you know, I, I definitely was, and we definitely were. You know, when you do get back into the ring and, you know, we can't wait till that happens. When you said more of a technician performance, what does that actually entail, like in, in your own words? Because for me, from my experience, yeah, I, I, I saw when you did fight before, you know, when you fought on the uh, the Roy um, Roy Jones, Mike Tyson undercard. And obviously what you just fought against Joseph Ordono and, uh, you know, same guy, a, a lot of different um levels that you were able to show a lot of different facets of your game w what is your description of your style like overall like which one is more you are you more of a, a boxer boxer puncher uh you know when you, you talk about Jermaine Ortiz uh what what do you want people to think of like as far as your style to you like what, what do you want to get across to the fans you did mention entertaining what do you want to get across to entertaining the fans? um I'm, I'm, I'm definitely I would say a boxer but i can fight too you know you guys seen that but Definitely. i prefer uh i like action i like action i like staying busy i definitely like staying busy in the ring uh 
I don't think there's ever going to be a time where somebody's going to be able to outwork me. I'm always going to be able to outwork my opponent. Right. But uh, technician is, uh, how do I explain it? I don't want to give a lot of things away, you know. I know no, no, yeah, yeah, no, no, it's fine. No, yeah, it's true, right? Because like yeah. yeah. the world, the world listens know, to our because, podcast. Everybody listens, <laughs> man. Know, Everybody the in the boxing community. Right <laughs> no, you know, but uh, you, more, know. you know, technical. This, you know, the technician are kind of self-explanatory. The technician, I'll be very technical in that ring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, keep it short like that. I'll just keep it like that. No, yeah, yeah. hey, don't give away the, uh, the secret sauce, man. For real, exactly, <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> man. But secret sauce. But, uh, I, I'll say for me, um, when you did respond, I mean, I'll go to put it out there. That was great. I was like, man, this is unbelievable because we're still off such a high. Off that card was electric, you know, and you were a part of it, a big part of the reason why that card was electric. So it was honor for me to, you know, and for us to know that you're going to be able to, you know, spend some time with us and talk about, you know, you yourself and that amazing performance and to know that more performances are on the way. So we're definitely excited. I would definitely oh, yeah. like to know a little bit more about as far as, um, you know, who, um, you know, who and how people can get in contact with you as far yeah. as your social media, social media handles. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Instagram, Jermaine Ortiz, J-A-M-A-I-N-E. O-R-T-I-Z, Jermaine Ortiz on Instagram, Facebook, same thing. Uh, Twitter, it's Jermaine Ortiz, same thing. I think with an R in the end, Jermaine Ortiz, R. Absolutely. And is there any, like, sponsors or, you know, uh, Somebody want to shout out? People that, oh, oh, you yeah, I'll, I'll give a shout out to the gun parlor. What's the mask? It's the finest gun range with the hottest guns. Mm, damn. Boom. Right. Like the Face. hottest guns. Man, he emphasized you know that. So <laughs> any caliente. type of guns you want. We're all old classic AK-47s, all Glocks. We in Texas, need, though. We in Texas. Parlor, Get some of those. I mean, to the drive up parlor, there and get me some it. Glocks. They got it. <laughs> Desert Eagles. They got it. Awesome. They got awesome. it. Tomahawks, whatever. They got it. Man. They got everything. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Cambio too. Shout out to Cambio, one of the hottest CBD companies out. CBD, you know saying, that's my you know, name. Take care. They take care of me. <laughs> Most of enjoying pain we, relief. We got our Snoop Dogg right next to us. <laughs> perfect, perfect. No man, Beautiful. but that's good. And, and you know what? Honestly, this was truly a pleasure. Was great. Yeah, was great. This I was. This was worth putting up with the side effects from the COVID, the second COVID shot that we all took. I know. Uh, we're dragging right now, but this made it all worth it, Jermaine. <laughs> oh, man. Thank I, you I, for yeah, doing I, I didn't think I was going to have any kind of Me energy, either. I, man, I, just thinking about Saturday and just thinking about the fact that, you know, I had a great, like, you know, put everything, like, in food, great buffet, and then today knowing that you were coming on the show, that's just a... Yeah, that's just made that, it worth that, it, that, that was that the energy I needed to... Special cake, you know, I needed to get, <laughs> boost myself up, but uh, we wish you the best on um, what you do. Pana, gracias de verdad de todo corazón. Puertorriqueño, ustedes aceptaron a este Por, hombre el boricua, sábado yeah. boricua Domingo, dominicano la, la gente es mía ya lo sabes oh, oh, míralo apóyame siempre Love siempre you, te lo ganaste felicidades yeah. te lo mereces mm. aquí estamos directamente damas y caballeros con Jermaine Ortiz, Ortiz. Uh, en vivo podcast 85 yeah. en vivo fuera Ay. hasta luego adiós alright thanks brother appreciate thanks you, bro Jermaine. appreciate you alright thank you